my school friends, it's Miss Robin here today with a new craft that you can do very easily by taking a walk around your neighborhood or just going into your yard to collect some grass and leaves that you might have growing outside. We're gonna take these today and use the chlorophyll, the green pigment that makes the leaves green. And we're gonna use it to draw on our picture. Chlorophyll is the pigment inside of the leaves and grass that collect the sun's energy. So you can also do art with them. Now I found that it works a little bit easier if you kind of snap the leaves in half and use the edges. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them and make your own writing utensil with them. So I'm gonna take those leaves and I'm gonna rub, rub, rub on this page. And it starts coloring green like its own marker or crayon. And I collected a few different leaves from my house. And I'll show you what we can do with them. I'm just kind of doing lots of different leaf shape rubs on my page because what I'm gonna do at the end is draw some insects on them because I know you guys are learning about insects this week. And see how all my leaves are working. They're just a tiny bit different colors from each other. Let's see if the grass will work for me too. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. Let's see, I have hydrangea leaves here. And iris leaves here. Pull that one apart and make it work a little bit better. There we go. And I've got my hosta leaf. And then I can take whatever writing utensils you have at home feeling like drawing a ladybug. A ladybug is an insect, so I'm just going to do a little circle for her body. Add a few spots. And you probably know by now that insects have six legs, so I'm just going to draw six little legs And there she is crawling on my leaves. I would love to see your pictures when they're done, so please feel free to post to Cluster or to our website and let us see what crafts that you've done at home. Have a great day, bye.